Yep, you read right there. In the light of this recent tragedy that we've had in the Aurora, Colorado theater, I just can't see how this, can con this country can go on any longer doing what it's doing. It's time that the government steps in and we have a plan to get things done. What, have I, what am I talking about, of course? Well, something that needs to be banned, that there's no purpose for in this country and it needs to get taken out. All right? Uh, of course, I'm talking about cars that go over 65 miles an hour. There's no reason whatsoever in this country that they need to exist, all right? There's no reason whatsoever. They were designed for one reason and one reason only, and that is escaping the cops as fast as possible. There's no reason any law-abiding citizen needs a car that can go that fast. Period. We don't need some sort of high-capacity 5.8 liter engine on there. It's just not needed. We don't need it at all. Period. That's it. I, 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 and then you'll get the far right-wing nut jobs that'll hold on to their cars and they'll say, well, why do I have to need things like that? You have to need them because that's the law. That is the law. All right? That is exactly what I just said. We don't, did, you, did you know that cars kill over 30,000 people a year? Senseless deaths. Women and children are killed over 30,000 of them a year in car deaths. And yet, you nut jobs out there just want to let these things continue. You want these cars that people can put big 5.8 liter double overhead cam engines in there, and they can go over 100 miles an hour, sometimes over two, in a matter of seconds. They were only designed for one purpose, and that is escaping the cops and breaking the law, and there's no reason to have them around today. Okay? I don't care if you think that it's your freedom to do it. I don't care if you think that there's some sort of piece of paper that says that you have this right to do it. We've modernized the times. That paper was designed when people were going around with horses and buggies. It does not modernize with the times. There's no reason a car, somebody needs a car that can go over 65 miles an hour. All it does is lead to the death of more women and children in this country. Period. And that's all I got to say about that. I'm going to disable comments for this video because I'm obviously right and I don't want to hear what anybody else has to say. I'm going to disable ratings because I don't want all the white right-wing nut jobs coming in here and telling me that I'm wrong because they got their head so far up the NRA's ass. Oh, excuse me, the uh, AAA's ass. <laughs> Whoops, I, I don't know where that came from. Uh, I, they have their head so far up AAA's ass that they need to promote these dangerous vehicles on the streets. It's unbelievable. And anybody in a civilized nation will stand with me on this. So do I have everybody's support? We don't need these evil sports cars, I believe is the modern term that the media likes to call them, because you're damn right, they're high-speed jet sports cars, is what they like to call them. I just call them death machines myself, and they need to be banned. That's it. I would say get a like, but I'm disabling the ratings because I don't want to hear it from the right-wing nutjobs. Thank you. <clears throat> Now, if you stuck with me that long, what I have just presented to you is a, is a logical equal to the people that say that we need an assault weapons ban, okay? That is exactly the same logic. The, I, there's really no argument against that. But unlike I said earlier, I'm not going to disable the comments and, and uh, disable the ratings or anything like that because that is what people that don't have strong arguments do, like the Brady campaign. <laughs> the, that's what they'll do. They'll... they'll well, they won't block people, they just won't allow comments because anything that isn't agreeing with them is wrong and most of the people don't agree with them. Obviously, what I'm talking about here, you know, is, is the, uh, the the assault weapons ban that wants to get to go in place. And what I mentioned there is very akin to that, just like people say, you don't need a semi-auto assault weapon with a hundred round banana clip. Um, I, I didn't I didn't really see the part, you know, in, in I won't even say the Constitution. I won't even because the Constitution does give you rights. It tells you what rights can't be taken away. I didn't really see the part in life where it says you have to need something because I don't think people need cell phones, computers, amusement parks, ice skate rinks, movie theaters. I don't I don't see why people need any of those. If we're going by things that we need, then we're all going to be wearing gray shirts, gray slacks. Everybody's going to look plain. We're all going to be marching until we fall into a giant meat grinder in the end. All the while, the song "Another Brick in the Wall" is playing in the background. Just saying. Uh, I don't know. I don't understand where this idea, where this idea of need comes from. But again, that whole first part of the video there is the logical equal to somebody that says we need to solve weapons. But yeah, there is one part that I couldn't squeeze in there. I couldn't figure out how I would get it in there. Uh, but I do love it. 
and I will mention it now, and that is uh, another one of the, the another gem that these people like to crack out is, yeah, but guns, assault, whatever they're calling them nowadays, evil assault machine gun weapons, you know, from hell, the devil did it himself. Uh, another one they like to crack out is, yeah, well, guns were designed to kill people. Guns were designed to kill people. That's That's fantastic, and that is true. Guns were designed to kill people. There's one problem with that, though. There is one uh, minor problem with that. I couldn't even tell you how many everyday objects that you have that were designed to kill people, like GPSs and cell phones. Well, how the hell does that happen? Well, let's not forget that GPSs and cell phones are both technologies that started with the military. <laughs> In fact, GPSs were uh, used to uh, lead troops around so they could have various either airstrikes or, you know, actual force strikes in other countries. So, GPS was designed to kill other people. <laughs> I don't know, I don't understand how the, uh, how something was designed has any effect whatsoever on how you can use it today. <laughs> but, hey, you know, that's, that's the best argument that they have. And, all right, well, there we go. If you stuck through it that long and you saw how, how ridiculous it sounds when you put it in different contexts, well, then I applaud you. And if you were a little unsure on the subject before and I've changed your mind, I'm happy. And if you're going to come on here and post some anti-gun nonsense, feel free. I'm not going to block you or anything like that. It's just I hope you know that we're going to be pulling out facts in these comments, I'm sure. I'm sure some of my uh, responders are going to be pulling out facts, and that kind of scares those, those, those people. So, all right, that's it, and thanks for watching.